Hello my friends, if you bought a computer with Windows 11 and are now unhappy with how it works, or you upgraded from Windows 10 to Windows 11 and after that your computer is lagging or running slowly, I will help you return to Windows 10 and not lose your Microsoft license. For those users who have had less than 10 days since the upgrade to Windows 11, I recommend watching the method in my other video, the link is in the description of this video. Today I will tell you how to return to Windows 10 for those users who bought a computer with Windows 11, and also for those who have more than 10 days since the upgrade to Windows 11, and the go back to Windows 10 option no longer works. The only thing we can do now is to go back to a brand new Windows 10, and in this process we will not be able to save our personal files, and therefore you need to take care of your data in advance and save the necessary files on another drive or USB drive. Now open, Settings, and in the System section, open the tab, Activation. Here we can see that my Windows 11 is activated with a digital license associated with a Microsoft account. I hope your Windows 11 has the same digital license, which means that if you return to a new Windows 10, Windows 10 activation on your computer will happen automatically, and today I will show you exactly how it works. And so, if you are ready, then we begin. The whole process will take quite some time, and if you are upgrading a laptop, connect the laptop with a cable to a power source. First, we need to go to the Microsoft website and download the tool to upgrade to Windows 10. Open a browser, and in the search right, download Windows 10. Or open the description of this video, and follow the direct link to the Windows 10 download page. In this window, you need to download a special application to your computer, Media Creation Tool, which will create a bootable Windows 11 USB drive. You can see the details on the same page. On this page, click, Download Now, and the updater will be downloaded. Close your browser, and open the folder, Explorer, Downloads. Now double-click on the application shortcut and the update tool will launch. Here you need to accept the terms of the license. In this window, we can choose several options to download Windows 10, click, here. Next. In this window, we can uncheck the box, and select any other Windows language. I leave English. Next. In this window, you need to select the ISO file. Next. Here you need to select a folder to download the ISO file. I select the folder, Downloads, click, Save, and the download of the Windows 10 ISO file to the computer began. The ISO has loaded on the computer and you need to click, Finish. Now let's open the folder, Download, and double-click on the ISO file. Here you need to find the file, set up, and double-click on it. The Windows 10 installation window has opened, and here you need to click, Next. The update program has started, and we don't have to do anything for a while. In this window, you need to read the terms of the license and confirm your agreement. Accept. In this window, if the first two buttons are active, you can choose to save personal files and applications that you yourself have installed on your computer. You can then choose to keep your personal files during the update process. And the last option shows that the update will completely remove all personal files and apps that you have installed. You can skip this process and click back, but to switch to Windows 10, click next. All files for upgrading to Windows 10 have been downloaded. You can go back and change the settings. If you're ready to continue, click, Install. For a while you don't have to do anything, you can relax and have a cup of coffee or tea. During the process, the computer will restart automatically several times. Please do not turn off your computer. 
All Windows 10 files have been installed and now we need to make a few settings. Choose your region. Now choose your keyboard layout. Yes. Skip. Here I choose for home use. Next. In this window, you must enter your Microsoft account information or create a new account. I will create a local account. Now the account name, I like this name. Bond. James Bond. Next. Here you need to create a password, but I'll do it later. Next. I disable all these settings so my computer will run faster. Accept. Windows 10 welcomes us. There is little left. Yes. I managed. Hope everything went well for you too. Now I will open the settings, and look at the data about my Windows 10. Yes, now I have the latest version of Windows 10 Pro on my computer. I open, Settings. Then, Accounts. And here we see that my PC is managed by local account administrator, and her name is Bond. James, Bond. To sign into a Microsoft account, or create a Microsoft account, click, here. Now you need to check the activation. The activation was successful and the license for my Windows 10 was saved. This is where I end the video, if you have any questions and suggestions, leave them below and share this useful video with your friends, like the video and please subscribe to my channel. Your likes and comments motivate me to create such videos, do not forget to press the call button to receive notifications of new videos about Windows 10 and Windows 11. Good luck!